Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. And uh, one nice feature of most Macs and even most recent Windows laptops is having some cool multi-touch features to play with. Uh, this might not be natively integrated into most Linux distributions, but there is a way, as always, to still get this nice multi-touch feeling. We're gonna use libinputgestures. Libinputgestures is a library that will interpret your fingers' movement on a trackpad and map them to a simple combination of keys. For example, three fingers up can make your computer believe that you've just entered the super, which is the Windows or Command key on your keyboard, and the down key at the same time, which is super down, and bring the multitasking view, for example, on elementary OS. So let's install that thing. Libinput Gestures is not available by default on the elementary OS repositories, so we'll have to install it manually. But don't panic, it's pretty easy to do, just follow those simple steps. First, we'll install what we need for the installation to work. So you're gonna type this command, sudo apt install git xdo tool wmctrl and libinput tools. What this command does is, first it's a super user command with the sudo prefix, then apt is the package manager, install is what we're telling the package manager to do, which is installing some packages, and git xdo tool wmctrl and libinput tools are the packages we want to install. Second, we'll just need to get the code from git. So what you're gonna type in your terminal is this command, git clone http colon slash slash github.com slash bulletmark slash libinput gestures. This command just tells git to clone the repository on your system. Then we just need to tell the computer that our working directory is the libinput gestures one, so it knows that when we try to install the libinput gestures, uh, it knows where to look for the files. So just type cd, which is a command to tell your computer to get inside a specific directory, and then libinput-gestures, which is the directory we want to go. Fourth step, we just install libinput-gestures. So just type this command, sudo dot slash libinput dash gestures dash setup space install. This is just telling your computer to run the install uh, portion of the libinput gesture setup script and running it as super administrator with the sudo command. Okay, so now libinput gestures is installed, but we need to create a configuration file so that this library will know what to do with our gestures. So all we need to do is create a simple text file in our user directory called libinput-gestures.conf. This file will need to be created in our config folder. The only problem is that it's a hidden folder. But no biggie, just open a file browser in your home directory, right click on any blank space and click show hidden files. See those grayed out transparent folders? They're hidden by default. Open the folder name .config. The dot means that it's a hidden file. Now just right click on a blank space and click create new empty file and then rename that file to libinput-gestures.conf. There you go. Now you can just open this file with your favorite text editor, for example Scratch. So what do we need to put in there? Well, that's pretty simple. First, you're gonna type gesture. This tells the library you're gonna tell it about a new gesture. Then enter a space and type swipe. This tells it the gesture you want to create is a swipe. Then enter another space and type up. This tells it that your swipe is gonna be in an upward direction. Enter another space and then three. That's the number of fingers the gestures is to be, to be made with. So basically what you've told your libinput gestures uh, config file is that you want to create a new gesture, which is a three finger upward swipe. Then you're gonna input another space and type xdo tool. This is the tool that will do the mapping of this swipe to the command on the keyboard you want to run. Enter another space, then type key. This tells xdo tool that it should map the swipe to a key combination. Finally, enter another space and then the key combination you want to map it to, for example, super plus down. This command simply tells your computer that when you make a three finger swipe up on the trackpad, it should interpret that as a press of the key super, which is the Windows or Command key on your keyboard, plus the key down. On elementary or specifically, that will bring up the multitasking view. But you can pretty much map it to any other key combination to do any other result. Got it? Are you confused? If you're unsure, you can download my file from the link in the description down below. My file only has a few gestures, which is the three finger upward swipe to bring the multitasking view, a three finger from left to right swipe, which will bring you to the previous workspace, and a three finger swipe from 
right to left, which will bring you to the next uh, workspace. Okay, so you've created your file, but now you just need to tell libinput gestures to restart to take those changes into account. So just grab your trusty terminal and type libinput-gestures-setup space restart. And boom! This is gonna be done. You can close the terminal now and it should work. You can try out those gestures right now on your trackpad and see if it's been uh, taken into account. Now, if you want these uh, gestures at startup and not to have to input this command every time you reboot or uh, put your computer to sleep, just enter that same libinput-gestures-setup uh, space restart inside the uh, parameters in your system settings. You just open the system settings app, you go into applications, then startup, and then you click on the small plus icon in the bottom left corner and you copy paste that command. Just save that and boom, every time you restart, these commands will be taken into account. So there you go guys, uh, just uh, enjoy those multitask gestures and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed or explode that dislike button if you didn't. See you guys in the next one and bye!